you don't want to think of what you've just been told because it's just so real and it's also something you've never expected or at least at my age I never expected to hear this until maybe I was 80 years old. Hi, I'm Hayden Bechtold. I'm 24 years old now, but at 22 years of age, I was diagnosed with stage 3C rectal cancer, which was treated at the Ottawa Hospital. At 18 years old, I actually moved away to Florida. I was on a soccer scholarship. And it was once I'd moved away that I first noticed blood in my stool. That went on for a couple of years, and then I graduated university Luckily, I got a contract to go play in Spain. I was there for a couple of months and then my symptoms just started getting really bad. Um, parents actually really pushed for me to go see a gastroenterologist. Within one appointment, we knew something was wrong. So I had just woken up from my flexible sigmoidoscopy and I saw everyone else leaving. I was still in bed and they, they the doctor came out and said, hey, can, like, is someone coming to pick you up? Can you come sit in this other room? And immediately I knew there must, like, this doesn't seem normal. I feel like I would have been on my way already. The doctor comes in and tells me, and it's kind of like what you see in the movies, where you just hear that, like, white noise, and you're not really paying attention anymore, because he kept talking, saying next steps, and I didn't hear a thing. Within a week, I got uh, to know Dr. Jin, my radiation oncologist. Uh, Dr. Gottfried, who was my oncologist, and Dr. Auer, who was my surgical oncologist. We started to think outside the box really quickly, like almost within a few minutes of leaving. We all sort of spoke together and said, if we can get some molecular testing on his tumor, we might be lucky. He might have a unique subtype that could respond to a molecular therapy. They said, we have a new treatment option that we want you to do. And they said, because of the mutation of my tumor. I was eligible for immunotherapy, a drug called pembrolizumab, um, and that sounded very promising um, because it matches my exact mutation. Um, I was able to do this and it really kind of changed how my treatment went because I just did the immunotherapy until I was able to go in for surgeries. But while I was in the hospital, I think this was about one or two weeks after the initial surgery, I had um, a team of or Dr. Auer and her residents come in and actually kind of tell me what the pathology report had said. And the immunotherapy had worked so well, there wasn't a sign of cancer when I went in for surgery. So it had completely gone away even before my colon was cut out. I mean, at this time, I'm now roughly one year, we'll call it cancer free. Um, and it's just exciting. Like I'm going to law school now, I'm moving to Toronto for it, living on my own again, which I'm very excited for. A year ago, I wouldn't have really imagined that but really excited for the future, and it's a future I couldn't have really seen um, when I was first diagnosed.